So here's a part two of my last video. You always want to look for an NPC trying to play God. It's never going to be a real person. Where they think their job is to tell another adult something. Like when you find an NPC like that, that's going to be really creepy. Whenever you find an NPC who think it's their job to tell another adult something that makes sense, then it's not a person. Because a person isn't just worried about trying to look good by helping something that can't think on its own. If something can't think on its own, that means it's an animal. So they're getting an ego boost by, by the dumb thing coming to them. And that's just another way of finding a serpent under grass. It's a very simple one. Where they're just thinking, they're thinking that they would look good. <laughs> and, but... But they're feeling, they're feeling that they're going to have the hope of fulfillment. They never get fulfillment. They just have the hope of fulfillment. So they think they're going to have the hope of fulfillment. But it never comes. That's why God sets it up to where they get bad karma. Where they have folks dying of cancer, COVID. From just, from just accepting the NPC. Because not understanding is not an excuse. It's like there's a baby gazelle that's born... And then the, the mother is stupid and the lion eats it two seconds. <laughs> does, it, does, it, does it not die because it doesn't understand? No. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how things work. <laughs> not understanding is not an excuse. So, <laughs> when you see something that's in baby mode, it's never going to be a person. So, it's going to be best for you just to insult it and just, talk, and just say what it is. If you think you're supposed to protect this feelings like you're, God, you're its mommy or God, that means that you're not a person. It's going to be, it's just a broken thing that it was just a robot of the upper level brain and then it's the lower level brain. So the upper level brain has a subconscious. The subconscious is, the subconscious is silent. But then what you deal with is the primal beast in a upper level, in a lower level brain. So it's just a robot where its own, its own, its own upper level brain subconscious is stressing it out. And then it just do dumb things because it's so mentally weak and weak minded. So you're, de so you're dealing with a robot. <laughs> and it's, one of, it's a robot that's so weak minded, it needs your support for anything it does. So if it's trying to lie to itself, it needs you to believe it's strong when it don't show any signs of being strong. Because it's just got the brain of a baby. <laughs> it's got the brain of a baby where it thinks everyone is supposed to care about its feelings. But when it's over 12 and it's still like that, that means it's not a person. It's a very simple one. <laughs> it's going to be very simple. So, when you're dealing with things like that, there's no collateral damage. It just takes being weak-minded. It takes... Being able to crumble, <laughs> I think. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go back to these to to this NPC over here. Like, okay, here's a here's a. This isn't a magic trick because you you're really gonna self on the line. When you look at your friend, like look at look at your friend and imagine she just gave you a group hug, <laughs> and she's agreeing with everything. Your subconscious feels it's trite and it doesn't hit the mark. And that's going to linger forever. Go test it out. Go, go look. If that's not true, go look. Because <laughs> your subconscious feels it's off the mark. That's going to be with anyone you try to get consideration from. Even if you look at the Walmart individual. <laughs> it's going to make you feel stressed out. And that's going to linger forever. It's not like that other stress. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I appreciate you, man. Thank you. You, you, can look at, you can look at anyone. And then you're just going to start feeling trite and... You're going to feel that they're trying hard, but it's tried and off the mark. And then your subconscious is going to start stressing you out. Because God defeated evil with the subconscious. Every ounce of energy you try to get comfort is just thinking small to get a wrong answer. If you're thinking smaller, you're, you're thinking in a way to increase the margin of error. Your subconscious agrees. You see, when you're soulless, you think others talk to, to get you to agree. But that's just because they're a dumb soulless thing or just dumb and evil. <laughs> Stupid. And trying to play God. You see, if, you, if you're going to listen to something, it's either going to be in the primal ego from the DNA code. 
It's either going to be from your primal ego or it's going to be from the subconscious. I just talk about the subconscious because I don't care. I don't care about a mindless monkey with no personality. You know, you always know you're not a person when you say you have feelings too. So do so do a rat. <laughs> That's thinking small to get a false answer to scam your brain. Your feelings are trite and off the mark because you're not a person and there's no way to fix that. What are you going to do? Get mad at me? I'm not threatening you. This is the First Amendment. I could do this all day because it makes sense. I'm not, if, if it's wrong, go sue me for slander. But it's right. <laughs> you would never be able to do that. There, this country does not have exceptions for a retarded baby's feelings. What are you going to do? Beat me up with your feelings? <laughs> like the background, all soulless things, if you examine it, they're going to think they can manifest or something. Like, basically, that's just stuff that smart people did to just play with their brain and just make them basically go in a hamster wheel so they're not causing problems. If you see anyone who thinks that they can manifest stuff like they're a wizard and their feelings is a magic wand, that thing is not a person. In 100% of the cases, if you see someone who said that they can manifest, it's just an overwhelmed animal that can't even think in specifics. That's 100%. And if you think it's your job to get them right, because there's only one thing wrong with them, that means you're not a person. <laughs> Those things are endlessly wrong. So you want to look for folks who think it's just going to be one thing wrong with them, and they can correct them. <laughs> where, where anything that thinks it's just one thing wrong with it, because they skim the surface, it's not a person. So you look for those who try to help something that's an NPC instead of just insult it <laughs> and, or laugh at it. <laughs> Because they're not winning any brownie points with God. They're just a snake under the grass going crazy. <laughs> so, the reason this works, you're just looking for... You would be looking for NPCs that think their feelings are protected. Where they think... They, they're too... They forget that they're too weak to, to, <laughs> to handle their feelings. The easiest thing in life. Factually, the easiest thing in life. So, everything else they try to do is always going to be messed up. They can't even handle their feelings. So when you see that illogical thing where that burst of strength that doesn't come from a positive act, it's just them supposing to self unalive. That's why God gives that mercy <laughs> where everything is just weak. They can't even handle their feelings. And then they just start acting strong. That's supposed to be so they can go self unalive. And that's mercy from God because it's not a person. It just crumbles to negativity because it doesn't have a soul. You always, you always know when you can't distract. You always know things were not different before. I'm crazy. No one should listen to me. <laughs> I'm going to go do that. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. No one should listen to me. Notice that your brain is still stressing out. The panic is still there. Think back when you said something was crazy. It went away instantly. That's how you know you're going to stuff in life. I'm, <laughs> I'm crazy. No one should listen to me. The stress is still there. When you're trying to reduce it to someone's face, that means you're below a human functioning level. You have a learning disability from not having a soul. <laughs> Where you have to tie faces to logic because you're not really a person. That's creepy. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to just shoot the messenger effect so everyone can laugh at you? When you're that low functioning, it's like you're really not a person. How's it my fault? It's your parents' fault for setting you up for failure and sending you outside. <laughs> it is not my fault. Like, what are you going to say? You can't say anything that makes sense. You can't say anything that makes sense, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna sneak around. What are you gonna do? You're gonna sneak around and try to know someone from afar because you can't actively think. This is this is the best terminal depression line because it's true. When you can't actively think, you always know that you should self fund alive. When you have to pre know information like you're studying in school because your brain can't situationally think in a moment. When your brain can't situationally think and you have to know things to set yourself up for failure, that means you're not a person. You would never be a person. If you are a person, why, is, why did that happen? Everything only helps you, so your brain is going to know it doesn't make sense and you're going to get stressed. Then you're going to try to blame the voice or the face talking and look stupid to show you don't understand information. You just, you just go type faces to information. You can't understand specifics because you don't have a soul. If that doesn't make sense, explain how. That anger in you shows you're not a person. A person doesn't have a monster in them. You, we want, you want Jesus to take away your monster because you're not a person. Think about it. <laughs> and then, it's, a, it's not a short-term thing. It's a long-term thing. They're going to try to get a false victory, and that's just gonna, that's just, it's just going to make the subconscious hate them more. <laughs> 
where there's nothing, there's nothing that could be done. Because anyone's supposed to be the best in the house of God is not going to church. No one told those idiots to try to make that symbolic. They, <laughs> so it's their fault. And really it's their parents' fault too for sending them out in public being so broken. Their parents just got overwhelmed because they couldn't train them right. And they would try to explain something, but their parents had to give up on them. And then their parents just started scaring them so they can act right in front of others. Because it's so they couldn't understand why they had to do things. They just thought their parents were bigger and made them do a lot of strange stuff. <laughs> so it's really just their it's really just their dumb soulless parents. But it's definitely not going to be your ta fault for talking. So they can blame themselves. They can blame them, their parents, which is what the subconscious already knows. So it's going to be nothing they can do. You know, if you need someone else to give you information as an adult. That proves you're not a person. If, if you were a person, you could put it together on your own. If you're not insulting someone, you would have to insult something that's not a person. <laughs> so you don't hit what's seen with Lot's wife where you just have bad karma. <laughs> you always know God hates you if you know anyone who died of a car accident or COVID. I don't know anyone that's that stupid because I'm not dumb. <laughs> Every, everything happened for a reason. <laughs> so... It's always going to be a lot of NPCs who don't understand that it's not baby world. Because they don't get the over-the-air update because they don't have an antenna. It's like your phone. If it can't get the updates and it's got a dock with another phone, <laughs> that means it's not a person. So, everything a solar thing do is a parody version of what a person does. So, you want to look for that too. <laughs> You want to look for them doing a parody version that's out of desperation. And when their subconscious start picking that up, they're in that, suicide, they're, they're in that self and alive loop where it's nothing they can do. Where everything is just self-protection, where their brain just shuts down from it. And they're trying to blame it. They're, they basically crumble from the frustration, which never happens to a person. And then they just want it to go away. <laughs> Whenever you see that, it's not a person. <laughs> Whenever you see that's not a person, they're just trying to bully you with emotional manipulation, where they're trying to make you feel guilty, but it's not going to be a person. You always know you're not a person when you need visual learning techniques. Like, if you see someone smoking crack, and that's, and that's the same thing as not listening without understanding specifics, that means you're not a person. It's not going to be anything you can use with that information. It's just going to make your brain crumble. When you have a learning disability because you don't have a soul... That always means you're just wasting energy. It's not because I said it. You can go fill it. Where are you going to say something's crazy? You always know you're not a person. You always know you're not a person when you think others love you unconditionally. That's just a baby urge. You're just baby urges. Like animal. You got animal rage to protect your weak-minded baby urges. Your brain understands it. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> It, it really is like a dog park. It's fun. It's fun going to Walmart. <laughs> it's just like a dog park. But the most important thing is turned down when they try to get support from their friends. Where everything anyone that they talk to says is trite and off the mark. And then their subconscious starts stressing them out. When they're, and all you have to do is say it once. <laughs> That's how some liminal subconscious stuff works. It's always all. It's always trying off the mark, and they can feel them working hard, and their brain just slowly starts stressing them out, and it never stops. <laughs> so they would keep trying to do it because it's it's a it's a dumb, mindless animal, where it doesn't have an idea of what real evil is, being desperate and weak. <laughs> it just thinks it can get on top of something and fix everything because it doesn't understand anything. That means it's not a person. If if things what wasn't like that, evil would have been defeated a long time ago. <laughs> It just means it's not a person. It's just something desperate and weak that can't get over ego. Whenever you see that, it's not going to be a person. <laughs> it's never going to be a person. So that's why you got to be a heartbreaker. That's why you got to be a heartbreaker. When someone solo says, says you, I don't want to listen, that means they can't stop listening. When they think that the world is based around their weaknesses, that means it's not a person. <laughs> the biggest insult is when they think God is going to come down to help them get right. That's going to be someone who can't do anything right on their own without an incentive because they're not a person. It only takes a brain hearing it once. <laughs> and then they're going to wrongly try to blame the face talking like that shoot the messenger effect, showing that they're not a person. 
whenever that happens, it's nothing they can do. God defeated evil with the subconscious. It's very simple. It's very simple. <laughs> so it's really, it's really nothing you, you can do. You're, you're just pretty sorry if you're afraid of NPCs. It's like by myself, I can get every NPC I run across to basically go into a self and alive loop where, where, where they would start obsessing with the voice, with the voice they heard the information for because they don't understand information. <laughs> and then they would, they would basically be going crazy. And those paths don't connect. They would just be wasting energy. And their subconscious would already be ahead of that where it can feel that they're wasting energy. <laughs> so in my situation, I know anytime an NPC focuses on me, that means they're already triggered for to self and alive. They're just trying to they're just trying to dominate and make it something immediate where it's a long-term thing. <laughs> so they're gonna try to focus on the face talking when when that when that's just it's just irrelevant. And it just makes their brain stress them out more. It's like someone who's punching their stuff in the face and they can't stop. It is so interesting. <laughs> so you can give them stuff and then you can make it tor more torturous. Because anything that wants more than what it earns is wrong. As soon as it wants more than what it earns, where it can't do anything positive, and it just start pretending for others like you're their mommy or God, you should be creeped out by that. It's like you're supposed to live your life. You can't do anything for that thing. <laughs> so, why, so why is that thing trying to solve problems by looking strong for you? <laughs> if, if you're not creeped out by that, you're the most pathetic thing ever. <laughs> so it should be very simple. It should be very simple. So all these NPCs who, who I who I'm basically who I'm basically targeting is, are very simple. They're all idiots who think stuff like every child should have food because they can't think realistically because they're not a person, <laughs> or they think they can manifest and stuff, or they think that if they're with others, then all <laughs> then they're going to be safe like a kid look like like a baby lost in a mall looking for a mall cop. <laughs> every adult is like that. <laughs> But, but that's very easy to, sh to shut down in the brain. So it's nothing to worry about. And you can always notice an NPC when they solve problems with negativity. Like I say, it's a billion different ways in a million situations. <laughs> so I can't go over all of them. I could. I have enough, I have enough energy to. I could. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going to end the video now. It's a billion different ways to sell, tell someone doesn't have a soul in a million situations. So, one of the go-to ways is to look for things that aren't one-for-one one thinking. Only the smart ones get to heaven. <laughs> Only the smart ones get to heaven. When you see someone who just do things not to act right, where they just do things not to get in trouble, that's going to mean that it's not a person. Once you see someone who feels that they just do things not to get in trouble, that's never gonna be a person.